Hello everyone, this is Gaztron and I'm going to show you how to make a curved hallway using Source SDK. First of all, you've got to make yourself a nice looking room. So, if you look in here, you can see you need yourself a floor and there, yeah, like that. You need your floor and walls. Don't worry about the ceiling for the moment, just leave it the way it is. Doesn't matter what height you have it as, but for the sake of this, I'm just going to leave everything as 512. Just to make everything easier. Okay, so once you make your walls like that, as you can see, it's a bit on the thick side at the moment. I mean, it's, you clip the walls down to like 256 length in size. It doesn't matter, just you reduce the you basically reduce the size of the walls and the floors. You might need to reduce that down a bit actually, make it a 256 height. So you should be left with something like that at the end. Maybe not that close together, or, but it doesn't matter really, just for the sake of the tutorial. Then you select the arc tool or, and how many faces you want it to have. Select it in the area that you've left it as. Set the wall width to how much you left it as. So in the sake of this, it's 64. You can preview it if you wanna. Number of sides: arc 90, starts angle 90. That way, it comes up as that kind of shape. And when you do it, it comes out like that. And then you just clip it to where you need it to be. Obviously, it looks as if I made an error and done it a little bit too thick. Then that's okay, all you can do then is just increase the wall length or something. Just fill the gaps in. And then reduce the floor size because the floor size actually counts towards the inner angle as well. So that's basically how you make a curve with a big wall. But now you're thinking, how about the interior wall, the ceiling, or the floor? Well, the interior is easier. As you can see, I've kind of messed it up because i got it white in the corner. So you can just, you know, do like this. So it's like one, oh damn it, one wall up another kind of, so it's like, not that, I select the one tool, block again. But it's kind of like you could just put two walls together and it makes like a new wall like what I've just done now. So the problem is if you put them right, right close together you can make it like that but then yeah, you still got like a, a wedge, a wedge in the floor. And if you're doing the ceiling as well then don't worry. So. What you do is you make a square the size of the edge. Make sure it's select arc tool again, by the way. And basically, you do the wall with something sort of like eight this time, or however big you've done the floor or something. Then uh, let's see if this works. Okay, so it's not that. One minute. Sorry about that, I just need to just double check the arc tool thing again. Okay, it seems you leave it exactly the same as what you did, but it automatically adjusts the size that you're doing it to. So I, I purposely made the walls a little bit too uh, thick there. If it's a bit too big, you can always like resize it or something. As you can see, mine's just a little, gar mine's gone a little bit too uh, small there. And it needs to fit the walls as well, otherwise you get compile levels and that's not nice. It's basically that kind of formula. You just use use the arc tool. I might redo this actually just to make it bigger. That way you don't need to worry about anything. Because that seems like an easy thing to do. And reduce the thickness of the walls as well because that's important. Thickness is important. Oh my god, I'm going to resize everything in this, aren't I? <laughs> so basically, if I wanted to get the curved hallway wide, I need to make my floor something like there. Which means I need to redo the walls again. But that's okay, it's just pretty much the same formula. If you delete everything out, you've got yourself a nice looking floor. And a curved interior as well. So using that same formula, make sure you select the block tool. That way you don't make arcs instead of, well, anything else. Create your walls on either side of where you want them to be. Select your arc tool. 
select the massive gap from the one inch to the other enter select it like that click OK so you have a wall like that and you just fill in the gaps obviously it might overlap that's fine if it does at least it means there's no errors but you might need to re, re you know readjust the walls or something just to be sure I've done a really bad job at this. I'm sorry, but I'm, I mean it's not my fault. I mean this is first time doing it live in front of everyone. But at least you get a general idea. I might just show you a proper version in a minute. Just um, filling in the arcs. So give me a few minutes, literally. Okay, so I'm back. I've fixed the walls. I made it so it's like no draw on the outside, like a proper map should be like. So you draw one from the edge to the other edge like that doesn't matter about the size select the 664 or actually if you want to make it sort of like 16 or something that's fine just fill it in like that move it over I always seem to mess the um, actual size of it up so let's try 8 this time oopsie don't it didn't mean to grab the wall there simple error <laughs> See if this actually works this time. Okay, so you see it fits perfectly. So it needs to be like the same thickness as the wall if you like. And so I thought I said mine's 16 as the snap grid says it's 16 but you set it to 8. And as you can see it perfectly curves the wall as you can see. So now to move on to the floor. How do you make the floor again? It's kind of the same. You just make a square rectangular blah blah of where you need it to be so I would just personally draw it the same kind of size yet this time take it to where the floor is that way it doesn't become as high as the wall set it to 64 this time since that's the kind of floor size you gotta work to fill it in and there you go you guys have a nice little fitted in floor but it doesn't look white does it so you can always change it one thing's I just to select it and as I've already used it once ah oh, wait I can't do that sorry whoopsie one floor, to one floor again so you can always change it to whatever one you want and it curves along with it if you're looking to make a ceiling as well no need to worry just hold control I think it is no sorry even shift I think it is yeah hold shift drag it up and then you'll have like an identical ceiling part for it as well so that's how you make a professional looking one obviously again it doesn't look white so you can always change it to a different one if you want so that's the proper ceiling texture of the game so then it looks like there and then you can to make the interior wall as well you just same principle as before go from the inner corner this time to that select it to the same size as the wall click enter change it to 8 or however big it is it makes the wall and you just simply fit it in like that just change the texture of it again so it's the same as the wall and it doesn't look any different and then you can fill in the other walls as well and the ceiling if you want so I'm going to go through change all the textures I needed and uh I'll be back shortly. Okay, so I've finished my curved hallway now. As you can see, if you go on the inside, curved ceiling, walls, everything, it looks fine. And you can put whatever you want on either side of them. It, the, the formula generally works with any map, you know, any curved corridor you do. For the outside wall, you do from the top, from the bottom one, which is like there. So if I draw it on. I can show you, so it's from that little corner there to the top corner of the next wall which is there and that's how much you do it the small wall is the small side of the wall to the other small side, so it's the smallest side basically so it'd be like that, and you draw that in and then the floor it's just basically like the same as the wall but except you change it to like 64 wall, wall length and that changes to the floor so hope you enjoyed it 
next up I'll probably do a like a curved corridor that goes upstairs instead so you can have one that's flat like I've done and one that goes upstairs so I hope you enjoyed this like and favorite and share if you really enjoyed it that much and can't wait to be doing more hammer tutorials it's the curved corridors by the way it works generally in any game so you can basically do it like that and the reason why I've got no draw on the outside is to make it look professional. All, all professional maps have like no draw on the outside or textures that they don't want you to see. So, I hope you enjoyed it. Gazdron out.